Hello guys, welcome to this video. Today I'm gonna share to you a little portion of the chapter one of the economy of God. Today, there's a lot of things that can distract us from the right track of God's economy. If we spend time with the Lord, we will realize that the enemy is persistent and he's gonna use everything to distract us from that from that track. There are three steps on God's economy. The first step is the Father. The Father is the universal source of all things. But how can the Father, who dwells in an approachable lie, be within us? Well, in order for Him to be within us, we need the second step, that is the Son. To understand this step, first, we need to know what Christ is. There are seven basic elements that make up this wonderful person. The first element in Christ is God's divine essence and nature. The second element is His incarnation, that's a mingling of His divine nature and his human nature. The third uh, element is his human living. The fourth one is his experience of death. The fifth one is his resurrection. Then his ascension and last his enthronement. Okay, that's the second step. And what's the third step? Well, the third step is that both the Father and the Son are now in the Spirit. All that is in the Father is in the Son. And both the Father and the Son containing all the elements of Christ are brought, are brought into the Spirit. In the Old Testament times, the Spirit of God was the only element. But now, in the New Testament economy, all the seven elements of, of Christ have been placed in the Spirit. So, uh, He is in us and we are in Him. This is the real mingling of God with man. And we can experience this mingling at any time because we're mingling inwardly and outwardly with the Holy Spirit. What's the Holy Spirit? Well, if we read John 15, 26, we'll see that it will tell us that He is the Spirit of truth. But what is truth? Well, the meaning of the Greek word truth is reality. So the Holy Spirit is the Spirit of reality. And that's the full reality of Christ.